So today, I decided that I wanted to take a look at a Pinebook Pro Linux distribution. More specifically, I want to take a look at Manjaro ARM with the GNOME desktop for the Pinebook Pro. Now, I've been using Manjaro with the XFCE desktop on my Pinebook Pro for quite some time now, and I've really enjoyed the experience, but I haven't looked at Manjaro GNOME yet or really any operating system with the GNOME desktop on the Pinebook Pro. So I thought, why not? Let's take a look at it today, right now, on the Linux Lounge. So first, let's talk about my first impressions. Well, my first impressions are actually very good. Manjaro ARM with GNOME proved to be easy to install with a nice graphical installer, and performance was way better than I would have ever imagined would be possible with GNOME on this hardware. You see, GNOME is a very heavy desktop. Now, unfortunately, as a result of that, animations do lag a bit, and are actually disabled by default, but other than that, performance is actually very good. And to be honest, laggy animations are pretty typical for GNOME anyway, so I can't say that I'm surprised the animations are lagging here on the Pinebook Pro. The only issues that I had were that for some reason the numlock key would be automatically enabled every boot, but that was easy enough to turn off. Another issue that I had seemed to be with the packages. I wasn't actually able to update initially, so I had to update my package mirrors and do a lot of fighting with the package manager. Thankfully, however, I did eventually get the system to upgrade. But what I would say is, the initial issues that I experienced does mean that this distro isn't really for the faint of heart. Once I'd gotten through all the initial issues though, I was ready to use Manjaro ARM with GNOME, and I have to say, wow, this is absolutely fantastic. As I previously stated, performance is very good, but also the hardware support for the Pinebook Pro on display here is excellent. Everything seems to work as it should, and multi-touch is even supported on the Pinebook Pro's touchpad, which makes navigating through the OS an absolute joy. The best thing I can compare it to is the absolute satisfaction that you get when using a MacBook's touchpad. Additionally, I have to say that GNOME looks absolutely stunning on the Pinebook Pro's display. Everything is a really nice size, and it's just overall a pleasure to look at. The software included with Manjaro ARM with GNOME is excellent too. The GNOME desktop on display here is very close to vanilla GNOME, which I think is excellent, and the only additions over vanilla GNOME are the inclusions of an update indicator and Manjaro's own custom theming, both of which I think are great inclusions. Additionally, the application selection here is quite minimalist and doesn't bundle anything that you aren't likely to use. Additionally, since this is Manjaro, there's a good selection of fairly up-to-date packages for you to install and use. You can easily install these packages using Manjaro's own package manager. It might also interest some of you to know that because GNOME uses Wayland by default, you can actually make use of Waydroid on the Pinebook Pro, assuming you're willing to mess with it. Personally, I find it to be too finicky for me to want to actually use it, and it's not a great experience either, since for me, I have to disable hardware rendering for the graphics to work. But as with anything, your mileage may vary. So in conclusion, I am absolutely stunned by this distro. Manjaro GNOME brings a fantastic and extremely usable operating system with the GNOME desktop to the Pinebook Pro. And as a fan of Manjaro and GNOME, I think that this operating system is absolutely perfect. So much so that this is actually going to become my daily driver OS on the Pinebook Pro. Additionally, I'm actually making this very video on my Pinebook Pro running this operating system. But with that said, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.